Welcome to MMAHEM TV. My name's Christian. Well, we've got a huge UFC event coming up here in Australia on December 15. It's the final of the Ultimate Fighter smasher season between Australia and England. You might have caught some of it on uh, Foxtel over the last couple of months. Of course, it features the showdown between the two coaches, Ross Pearson versus our very own George Soderopoulos and some other huge names, including Australia's Hector Lombard, Anthony the Hippo Perosh. But one man who was scheduled to fight Seth Bozinski but has had to pull out due to injury, Australia's Kyle Noak joins me on MMAHEM TV. Kyle, nice to be speaking to you. This event on December the 15th on the Gold Coast would have been just like a hometown fight for you. How disappointing is it for you to have to pull out of this one? Yeah, it would have been, you know, uh, fighting in Sydney kind of feels like it, but having that opportunity to fight so close to home, uh, yeah, it would have been incredible, but um, you know, I'm sad that I missed out, but I had to have surgery, so you know, that's what happens, I guess. Mm. Well, tell me what it's like when you are injured. I mean, do, do you start to worry that uh, Joe Silver and Dana White and these guys, they start to forget about you the longer that you're out? Do you, do you worry that there are other fighters that go further up the list while you're injured? Yeah, you know, that's always kind of in the back of your mind, you know. Um, I had a good performance last fight, uh, sort of got my name relevant again. And now, with all this time off, you know, you think that you're going to drop out and be relevant and that, but... You know, hopefully, uh, like I said, the performance of my last fight will carry me through and um, by the time I'm ready to, ready to go again, which shouldn't be too long, uh, I'll still be fresh in everyone's mind. And so do these guys from the UFC, do they stay in touch with you? Do they ring and, and check on you whilst you're injured? Um, you know, the guys, they kind of look after me well. Uh, the guys from the UFC always call on see how I'm doing, uh, make sure I'm getting the best care possible. Now, hopefully it shouldn't be too long before I'm back in there. So I'm hopefully trying to get back in there by February, March. Kyle, it's got to be said, two disappointing losses over the last 18 months in the USC to Andrew Craig and Ed Herman. But your latest outing against Charlie Brenneman, that was an emphatic victory. Boy, that must have been sweet for you. Yeah, it was, you know. Um, it, was, it was really good. We'd worked on uh, a lot of things for that fight, which uh, some of them came out, some of them didn't, but it had been such a short fight. But, you know, it was, it was really good to get that win and get back in the win circle, you know. Um, my last, my last loss, I couldn't really help it, you know, I blew my knee out, so uh, now to have the opportunity to fight again, 100% is going to be great. Kyle Noak, great talking to you, mate. Aussie Fight fans are 100% behind you, and we're looking forward to seeing you in the Octagon again really soon. No worries, thanks a lot for having me. That's Kyle Noak on MMAHEM TV. In a moment, we're going to take a look at some of the bigger mixed martial arts promotions here in Australia and some of the best fighters, but next, it's Move of the Week. Move of the Week. Once again, I'm joined by one of Australia's very best, Professor Jason Robig from Axis Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu on the Gold Coast to demonstrate a move that is banned in practice sessions at nine out of 10 Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu studios around Australia. And don't try this one at home unless you are a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Today, it's the heel hook. Rodeo. So we're gonna keep this really basic today just to show you the setup. So I'm approaching this here. This leg is going to come in to catch his hip. So my knee penetrates in nice and high. So this acts like a block, steering his body. This foot is gonna come up. So as I come up with this leg here, my foot is now going to come across to trap the top of his leg. So now it's gonna be hard for him to roll this way because I can bring my knee up. And of course, this leg is blocking him the other way. I like to hold this, uh, this leg here so he can't throw it over. Now, this arm, as you see, when I squeeze and hold his toes, his heel is ready for me to pick up with my wrist. Lock my hands together and to bring it on, I don't necessarily twist, I make a connection through this leg here. So I drive his body down and Bring it on for the tap. Now we know that MMA is growing at a very, very rapid rate. Uh, UFC pay-per-view buys in this country are going through the roof every week. But how much do we actually know about the sport in this country and the fighters who are at the forefront of mixed martial arts in Australia? Now one of the big promotions for mine is the CFC Cage Fighting Championships, which holds four events a year, generally in Sydney and the Gold Coast and is arguably our top promotion, definitely in terms of the fighters who have come through their ranks, which include current Australian UFC fighters Hector Lombard and Kyle Noak, as well as appearances by James Tahuna, Brian Ebersole and Jeff Monson. 
Uh, now, before you punch your screens, I know that Bob Sapp fights in the CFC as well, but I'm actually talking about proper MMA fighters, not overrated freak shows. Now, another promotion definitely worth looking out for is the AFC, the Australian Fighting Championships, which generally hold around four events a year in Melbourne and have recently featured UFC fighters Jesse Taylor and Sean McCorkle, as well as exciting Australian prospects Xavier Lucas and Soa Palalay, who is tipped to be the next Aussie that we'll see in the UFC. Now, the AFC has also recently showcased the talents of Aussie female prospect Beck Rowdy Hyatt who will fight Scottish world ranked veteran Joanne Calderwood at the Invicta 4 event in Kansas City in January. So that's it for MMAHEM TV for this week. Uh, next week on the show, we're gonna take a good look at the uh, Ultimate Fighter season finale that's taking place on the Gold Coast on December 15. It's the Smashers, Australia versus England, George Sotteropoulos versus Ross Pearson, and some other top class fights. We'll take a look at those and break them down in a little bit more detail next week on MMA Hem TV. I'm Christian, thanks for watching.